Hello everyone, this is Juan Mont, and today we're going to be learning how to ink and paint an animation in Adobe Illustrator. Um, here we have uh, 24 frames of a donkey animation doing a funny smile. If we run through the animation, we see the donkey. He raises his head from the ball and smile. Okay, so we're going to be learning how to do a finish ink and painting on Illustrator. First, we want to do a new file. We're gonna size this nice 60 pixel by 672, <clears throat> 672 pixels. We open. And now we need to place a reference, which is the animation that has already been done. So we go <clears throat> and find the files, which are Amber's, the donkey, donkey reward here. And then we go and place the file. So I was using a shortcut, but if you want to see what I'm doing, I'm going to file, place, find this donkey and click place. place, place, and so on until you have the 24 drawings there. You got an idea. You should have all of them in this layer as a reference, 24 drawings. I'm going to stop here so that way we keep, keep going on, but you should have the 24 drawings in this layer here. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lower the opacity. That way it doesn't get mixed with the ink on top of it. That was perfect. And now I'm gonna lock the layer that way we don't by mistake move the, the animation. Actually, before doing that, let's hide all of them because we want to focus in one drawing at a time. And now we can lock. We're gonna create a new layer. Actually, what I wanna do now in this layer is to put a white box. Why? Because that grid on the back bothers me. And we, with that layer of the white box, we lower it underneath the layer of the reference. Wait, we need to remove the log first. There you go. And then we put the log. And now we are ready to start. Let's start with the first drawing. We create a new layer. We're gonna call it, we're gonna double click and call this layer donkey one. <clears throat> and we're gonna open our custom brushes. If we go here to brushes, we go here in this little arrow, open brush library. We're gonna use uh, Juan brushes number two. And let's start with this thick one. Whoops, we have to make sure that there's no fill and there's a straw color of black. There you go. And now we start it tracing as close as we can the animation underneath. We can use the pen tool if, we, if it's, there's like a, a line that needs more precision or we can use the brush, um, the brush tool, which with your pen tool, you can create this kind of fine line. This is a thinner line that we can put inside there. And if we feel that this line is too thick and we want it not too thin, we can come here and decrease the size and make like a customized thickness on that one. For the hair, we want to start here. We create this pointy, hairy style for the donkey. Oops. Go again. So we get it right. Sometimes the brush tool works. Sometimes you want to do it with the pen. Um, let's use the pen for the ear. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna stop the tutorial here and I'm gonna finish painting the donkey. When we come back, you will have, you will have all the donkey already outlined it, and then I will teach you how to paint paint inside the ink. Hi, welcome back. Um, here we have now the donkey is being complete uh, uh, ink. We have all the all the lines that compose the first donkey drawing. But something that I want to aim uh, is that in this animation, if we place um, attention of what is actually moving, the head and the tails move, but the body always stays still. So what I would do for an animation like this, it would be to keep the body in one layer that way we don't have to repaint the body constantly that will save us time and we will, we will only focus on the face and in the tail so then you know we'll have donkey body and donkey face one donkey face two donkey face three and so on same thing with the tail donkey tail one donkey tail two so that way we don't have to go through um, the process of redrawing the body each time. Uh, for but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it everything in the same layer. So now that we have the entire drawing um, finished, let me show you something. Uh, all the drawing is being created by outlines, stroke, for exception of the eyebrows that are actually a shape, but everything else is a stroke which means if I come here to the width of the stroke, I can make this stroke that I select five point thick, or I can go to 0.25, or I can just do any number that I want, 3.75, boom. But you know, we don't need that. It's just to show you how strokes actually work. What we need by now, if we get close to the drawings, we see that some of the lines overshoot and they're overlapping and we want to get rid of that because it doesn't look nice but something that we need to make sure before is that there are not empty there are no gaps between lines so you know for example if the line was here we wouldn't be able to paint because the program the software only will be able to fill um, shapes that are completely here we have an issue because we want the 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 part, the lower part of the of the foot of the donkey separate from the body. So we need to just add a line here to keep those shapes separate. Perfect. Love it. So now we just need to start painting. So if we select everything that is in the layer, we can go either with the the selection marquee and drag it around or we can go here to this little cube and it will select everything that is in that layer so we're still in donkey number one and then we go to we go to object and we expand appearance that way you know the lines will not longer be lines and it will be shapes so we go expand appearance and now you see now they're not lines they're shapes but you know that doesn't end there we just have to go to light paint we have to go make and then again we have to go to like um uh, object and expand and click ok perfect now if we take a look again to the donkey's face where we, we have these lines overlapping now if we select here with the with this tool here which is the uh, direction selection tool the short key is the A we can select the piece and delete every piece that has overlaid the other one has created separate pieces now so this is a piece this is a piece this is a piece this is a piece and this piece here is a little triangle and so on so we just need to go over the entire drawing and make sure that there are not pieces that we want to delete oh yeah there's one here perfecto and now here comes the fun part 
we need to set up a color for this donkey. But first we need to make it live. So we select the donkey again. We go to object and live paint make. Now it's ready to be painted. Let's click outside to the selected and let's choose a color. Uh, since donkeys are usually gray, let's go a little bit brownish somewhere here, I think. And then, you know, we just have to come and with the and select the tool for the live paint. The shortcut is the K as in kilo. And boom, like magic. Entire donkey is being painted. Um, let's do the foot. It will be like a dra uh, dark gray. Tag, tag, tag. For the hair, we don't want more gray because then it will be kind of boring. Let's do a little bit of bright brown. And for the mouth, let's do like a beige color. Very, very light one. Boom. If we hide the, the, the reference then, then we have it, you know, we have the, the donkey is being painted. Now we put a lock on this one, hide it, then open the reference again, go to the second drawing, hide the one underneath, and then we go over the, the process again of, you know, inking and painting and so on until we have the 24 frames all paint and name it and separate in separate layers so this will be like donkey 2 and we again make sure that we have the black and the stroke and then we go to the lines and start painting and moving the lines until we get the second drawing so this is it uh, for the next tutorial, I will show you how we will have all the donkeys already paint and then I uh, will show you how we can open them in another software, which is Adobe Illustrator, put a nice background on it and work with the timing. So have a good night and thank you for watching.